Good morning. Today's lesson is 9.1. Today we'll be talking about independent and dependent variables. Our essential question, how can you write an equation to represent the relationship between an independent variable and a dependent variable? You can use an equation with two variables to represent a relationship between two quantities. One variable is called the independent variable and the other is called the dependent variable. The value of the independent variable determines the value of the dependent variable. Let's unlock the problem. Jerry burns 5.8 calories for every minute she jogs. Identify the independent and dependent variables in this situation, then write an equation to represent the relationship between the number of minutes Jerry jogs and the total number of calories she burns. So why do you need to use a variable? Well, you need to use a variable to represent an unknown value, just like we did in the last when we were using equations and they put in the letter A or the letter B or the letter V. Now, how many variables are needed to write the equation for this problem? Well, we're going to need to know the total number of calories and the total number of minutes. So we are going to need two variables. So let's identify them. We're going to let C represent the total number of calories. Let's see for calories. And we're going to let M represent the total number of minutes. So let's think. The total number of calories Jerry burns depends on the number of minutes that she jogs. So the dependent variable is going to be C, which is the calorie she burns. And the independent variable is going to be M for minutes because the more minutes she burns, the more calories she burns. So the calories are dependent on the minutes. So let's write an equation to represent the situation. So the total calories burned is C, and it's going to be equal to 5.8 times the number of minutes that she jogs. So the equation C equals 5.8 M, because we've got C equals 5.8 times M, right? 5.8 M, represents the number of calories or C, Jerry Burns, if she jogs M minutes, where C is the dependent variable and M is the independent variable. And we're not solving it right now. We're just simply writing out the equation. Lorelei is spending the afternoon bowling with her friends. Each game she cost plays or each game she plays costs three dollars and twenty-five cents. And there's a one-time shoe rental fee of $2.50. Identify the independent and dependent variable in this situation. Then write an equation to represent the relationship between the number of games and the total cost. Well, the th you got to think about it. The total cost in dollars is C. Depends on the number of games, or G, that Lorelei plays. So the dependent variable is going to be C, the cost, and the independent variable is going to be G, the games, because the more games she plays, the higher the cost. So the independent variable is going to be the games, and the dependent variable is going to be um, the total cost, because the cost is depending on how many games, right? So the total cost, or C, equals the $3.25 times the amount of games she plays plus the 250 for the shoe rental. So the equation is C equals 3.25G plus 2.50. So my equation is there and it represents the total cost in dollars or C that Lorelei spends if she bowls a, a set number, a G games, where C is the dependent variable and G is the independent variable. So let's use our equation to find the total cost for Lorelai if she plays three games. So that means wherever my G is, I'm going to put in the three. So to find the value of C when, I, when G is equal to three. So let's rewrite the equation. We have C equals 3.25 G plus 250. So right here where this G is, I'm going to put the 3 for the 3 games. So now I have 3 times 3.25, which is 9.75.
and then I'm going to do my addition because I'm doing order of operation. 9.75 plus 2.50 is 12.25. So it will cost Lorelei $12.25 to play three games. Let's do number one, think smarter. What if there were no fees for shoe rentals? How would the equation be different? Well, if there was no fee for shoe rentals, then you would not add the 250 to the cost of the games, and the equation would be C equals 3.25G, and you would just skip the step of adding the 2.50 for the shoe rental at the end. Number two, let's evaluate the reasonableness. How can you use estimation to check your answer is reasonable? Well, what you can do is first, you know the cost of the game is about $3. And if Lorelei plays three games, the cost is now about $9, because three times three is nine. And the cost of the shoes is about $3. So the cost of the games and the shoes would be the $9 plus the $3, which is $12. So $12 is close to $12.25. So the answer is reasonable. All right, you're going to do the rest on your own or with a partner. And as always, I'm on the carpet. Good luck.